Hey guys, in uh, this video we're going to look at a little bit of uh, maintenance on your NAE and NCEs. In particular, what we're going to look at is uh, something known as unbound references, which what that means is items that are looking for a particular input or looking for a particular piece of logic that through the course of time has either been deleted or you know changed in one form or another. Uh, you know, a perfect example of how this happens is if you do a renovation on a building and you remove a bunch of controllers and you have some program logic that is looking for inputs from those controllers or even other controllers uh, looking for uh, inputs from them as part of what they do. Uh, these gen, uh, generally will generate you know, an unbound reference. You know, it basically it has lost communication for something that it is looking for. And there are many ways that this can be uh, done. There are, uh, if you have a uh, schedule that has, uh, that once existed for a VAV or an air handler, that uh, the air handler is no longer there, uh, changed out during a renovation or that sort of thing, uh, you will have an unbound reference. If you have a, an outside air temp sensor that uh, used to feed a few controllers that for whatever reason uh, it was changed, that that hardware point was done away with, you will get some unbound references there as well. So we're going to go over a few of the areas where you can find unbound references as well as how to take some steps to uh, resolve those. I recommend that this is something that becomes part of a uh, basically a general maintenance routine, a preventive maintenance thing on your devices, particularly if you do any type of a renovation. Looking at your network map under Metasys, uh, you should see all of the NAEs on your system. The way that you will view the unbound references pull is to pull one of the devices over into your view window. Under the focus tab, you will see a display section that is labeled unbound references. If you drop that tab down, you will get an entire list of all of the uh, reference points inside that NAE that cannot be found. Uh, and the reason that we have so many within this particular device is... This is a uh, device where there was a uh, renovation done in the building. We had uh, removed several controllers. Uh, the building had been changed, uh, office areas added, that sort of thing. And that is a very common way for a system to generate unbound references. So what we're going to do is to go through each of these items on the list, work our way through all of the logic, look at the schedules that uh, may be uh, no longer used due to uh, you know those controllers being removed and we're simply going to go in and find uh, those problem areas and resolve them you can see here we have a piece of logic here that the uh, slave list for uh, some of this logic here it was a uh, common uh, zone temp set point and you will notice inside this that it uh, gave some troubles. And if you view through here, you will see that there are several of these that are showing unreliable. And that was because they were connected to those particular controllers. And so what we will do is go in and actually remove those controllers from those. I'm simply going to hit delete on this because that whole logic block is no longer used and away it goes. And that will reduce some of the number of the unbound references within the system. I recommend that you dig through each of the logic blocks within your system until you can get that reference number down to zero. Just keep digging through. There are certainly many areas that uh, could very easily have uh, unbound references in it. You know, the, these logic blocks is something that can get quite large, quite complex. 
and you should go through every one of these logic blocks until you find where that unbound reference is. It can be a little bit of a task, however, it is something that is uh, it is something that should be done. It will help your system run much smoother and it will uh, slow down the uses of the resources within inside your NAEs and NCEs and make the overall system a little more reliable. If you look to your interlocks, uh, sometimes they will flag that they're in trouble if it is missing a reference, and then sometimes it may not. It really depends on if it is on the input side or on the output side of the interlock. And uh, if you simply click on the reference, you can see here under uh, this view that there are actually several of these items that are grayed out. And it is because they are no longer within the system due to the renovation. So what we need to do is to go through here and delete from the system all of these points that no longer exist. Now one of the things that's quite interesting when you're doing this Sometimes the system will not allow you to delete more than one of these at a time. You'll notice here that I am clicking on each of these areas that are grayed out, but the check mark is not showing up. And this kind of plays into where it is a drain on the system. If we wait just a couple of moments, you will eventually see the check marks appear. And it is something, I don't understand exactly why that it does this, but it is something that is clearly a drag on the system when you have all of these missing points uh, in part of your logic. And you can see there some of the check marks actually starting to appear well after I had clicked them. So that is something to remember uh, in case you go through yours and you experience the same issue. It's not just your device. It is something that appears to be common within the system. And there are other times where I can only delete one of these at a time from the system in these interlocks. And I had on a couple of occasions uh, in the past when I would go through these, it would not let me check, but just one at a time. And I would have to take each of those and I would delete it, I would save it, and then I would go back in, delete the next one, and it was just a lot of back and forth until we got all of those unbound references out of the system. And uh, it is something that does seem to help. I mean, you should start noticing some results. The more of that that you get uh, out of that system, um, you know, it, it will help it run a little bit better. Uh, if you have any type of data sharing, you need to go through the slave lists, uh, global data, data broadcast, anything like that. Go through those slave lists that are on those. If you find any of those points that are unbound, then you need to get them out of there. Looking through your schedules, if you find any of the points, any of the VAVs, or anything that is within the schedule that shows that it is busy binding or pending or anything like that, verify that the controller is still within the system. If it is not, go into your scheduled items and remove that from that schedule. And guys, I can't stress enough, be very meticulous in doing this. Spend the time, go through every single logic block within your system. Get all of those unbound references out of there. And you can see here, I'm going through just every one of these schedules, just verifying that uh, these are still all active. And so far, we're looking good. But, uh, you know, it's, it's something that we will run into is we will run into some where we do have some points that do not exist anymore within our system. You can see this one here. It says pending. This is one of the controllers, the original schedule for one of the controllers that was removed. So that is going to be an unbound reference within our system. It is something that we can uh, get completely rid of. It is no longer used. So we go back to our all items tab and we are going to you know, verify that it is a controller that no longer exists. We're simply going to look through the uh, trunk just to make sure. And we clearly do not have that there. And I mean, it's when I 
press the edit button and I try to make any changes, you can see that it tells me that there is an error in there. So we're just going to cancel it. And, you know, just to verify that it no longer exists, then I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to hit my delete button and I'm simply going to remove the schedule from the system completely. Another point about going through and doing all of the cleanup on these is you need to back up your system regularly. Uh, it would not be a bad idea to actually have SCT open on the machine where you run your backups for your devices and actually do a couple of backups as you're going through this. That way, if your system for some reason crashes, and you need to reload that system, uh, you can get it back to where you were. I mean, it is possible that going through this, uh, you could upset the system enough to where you could crash an NAE. I have seen those do that. And, uh, you know, that is something to be cautious about. So I would suggest, that, uh, once again, as you're going through, run multiple backups. The more unbound references you have within your system, the more often you should do the backups until you get that system completely cleaned up. If you look through any of your LCT logic as well, you know, if you have uh, got some LCT logic built inside your devices, go through those as well. Make sure that there are no points that are offline, that there are no breaks in the logic since uh, you've gone through, if you've, you know, removed controllers and that sort of thing. And it, once again, spend the time, get all of these cleaned up, and your system will thank you for it in the long run. This is something that is easily overlooked. You know, as time passes, we get into other things. There's other projects that we get into. And something as simple as simply going through the logic and cleaning it up inside of NAE we forget about it. I mean, you know, we, you know, we get onto other things. We're working on trying to get equipment running uh, that fails. We're trying to get new equipment installed. We're going through our daily routines, and a lot of this gets neglected. And then the longer we let it go, the worse it can get. And it can cause problems within your system. And the more problems in our systems, the more work that we have to do, the more work that we have to do, the less time that we have for projects, for things that we need to do as part of our job as well. So this is something that should be on your list. If you have a building that you do a renovation in, set aside the time to go in and do this, you know, set aside those necessary hours or however long it is for that building to crawl through every bit of this logic and get it cleaned up. And it is sometimes a little difficult, I know, to get things done, to get the time to do this something like this, but it is important for us to actually make the time, make the effort, and get this done. And when you go back to your NAEs and view the system, you will notice uh, as you go back and forth a few times, you will notice that the unbound references, that number should start decreasing. And the more of the points that you find, the lower those numbers will get until you get it all the way down to zero. Now, I know it's easy to think that, well, we've got it close, so we're just going to stop. Don't do that. Go all the way through it, every bit of that logic. Get every one of them out, the, out of there. You're already into it. You've already spent the time to get started. Get them all cleaned out. You can see here on one of my slave lists for this logic block, I've got some points that are unreliable. Again, part of those controllers that were removed. I'm simply going to go through here. I'm going to remove each one until I get every one of them out of there. It's going to, I'm telling you guys, it will help the performance of your devices more than you think. So spend the time and go through it. Guys, I hope the video was helpful to you. Uh, once again, you know, it's a good idea to get these cleaned up to get the number of unbound references down to zero. Uh, that does use system resources by having those in there. Uh, it's a good way to help preserve your NAE and NCEs. Uh, you know, I've, I've talked to uh, 
techs from Johnson Controls who will tell you plainly that a large number of unbound references will actually crash in NAE or an NCE. Anyways guys, hope you liked the video. I'd appreciate it if you would give it a thumbs up and be sure to drop me any comments with questions down below and thanks for watching.